All right, Adrian, 3, 21, and 22. Uh, I actually made a video of this, which is, seems stupid. Uh, I forgot to upload it last night, and I'm at my regular work job, so my uh, regular school, and they won't let me access YouTube here, which seems ridiculous since the online school is hosted from here, but whatever. Anyway, um, here it is. Here's the, uh, hopefully I'll have that whole video up pretty soon, as soon as I get home. Now, for number three, we're going to do the opposite of uh, distributive property, because we're trying to get X by itself, but X is with A and B. But when you had distributive property, you just kind of applied the multiply to both of them. But in this case, I'm actually going to take the x away because it's in it's with a and b. So what I can do is factor it out. It's the opposite of distributive. If I take the x away from a, I'm left with a. What you're really doing is dividing. And then b to the x divided by x gives me the b. That's what's left over. So now I have x times this whole term a plus b is equal to c. I'm trying to get x by itself. In order to get rid of multiply, I need to divide. So I'm going to divide by a plus b. You can do both of them at the same time if they're in a group like that. So your final answer is x equals c over a plus b. And that's it. You're just doing uh, factoring, which is reverse distributive property. Not a huge deal. Number 21, I'm actually going to show you 21 and leave 22 for you, not because I am a sadist, but because it's a good idea to do one before you take the test. Now, we, are, we haven't done system as a, of equations in class, but what we have done is cover the idea that you can plug in values and get numbers and things. That's kind of where I want you to go with this, which is why it's multiple choice instead of having to do free response or whatever. So what we're going to do in this one is uh, take the values of x and y, plug them in, and see if we make statements that are the truth. So the first statement says 8x minus 4y equals negative 8. So I'm going to write it out in a way that I can substitute. So 8 something minus 4 something else equals negative 8. If I can plug values for x and y in here to make it true, then it's true. It's done. So I'm going to try the first one, negative 8 and then negative 9. So when I type in uh, negative 8 times 8, I get negative 64. And then negative 4 times negative 9 would be plus 36. I'd end up with negative 28 here. That is not equal to negative 8. So I know that A is not the correct answer. And by the way, these are in XY format, of course. It's kind of a pre-algebra skill that I assumed, and then I realized I didn't say it. So I'm going to try some other ones. And so you don't have to sit here and watch me not get them right 50 times in a row. I'm going to skip to D. So uh, x value here is 0, so I'm going to plug that in here. And my 2 value is my y, so it goes here. 8 times 0 is 0. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And negative 8 is equal to negative 8. So this looks like d is probably the right answer. I do need to try it in the other one. On your um, test, you only have 1 to plug into as opposed to 2. So it's actually, for that part of it, easier than uh, your assignment for this is, So, which is why I threw it in there. Anyway. 2 goes here, 0. This will go away. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And that is equal to negative 6. So check, check. So my answer is D. 22 I'm going to leave for you just so you can try it. You probably want to do it at least once with whatever tools that you have available at your house to get it. Um, that's it. If you have any more questions, please ask. Also, I should say that it's probably a reasonably good idea to um, take your time on your test and that whole thing. So uh, if you need anything else, just let me know.